I want to leave you with one more thought about the value and the principle of rest. We've talked about walking away from a strife mindset, a performance mindset, a doing mindset, and getting in the rest of God. We talked about a number of principles, but what I want to share with you now is something that I'm personally working on in my life, and that is practicing Sabbath. There's a lot of books written on the subject. A lot of people have differing opinions, you know, that a Sabbath is a certain day of the week, and I'm not going to get into the logistics of that with you right now. I want to talk about the principle of rest, because that's what Sabbath is. In the account of creation, the Bible says, on the seventh day, God rested. He said, everything I've done is good, and today I'm unplugged. I'm not, I'm not lifting a finger to do anything. I'm resting. And in my life, I've been challenged by the Lord to pursue this principle, this discipline, really, of Sabbath. For me, it's coming in several forms. One, I'm trying to have one day a week. Listen to me closely. One day a week. No internet. No unnecessary phone calls. Not sitting down in front of my computer to do any work. Not really focusing on studying or creating new content or doing any of that. Just a day where it's a day of rest, a day with family, a day with people that I love and care about, a day of unplugging from life and just allowing myself to find that center again with its, its the rest of God. Also, in addition to that, we are looking to once a quarter go away for three days, four days, and unplug, like I was talking about earlier, unplug from everything and reboot a little bit. That's a part of Sabbath as well. And then maybe once a year, taking a couple of weeks to just say, all right, no work, no focus on anything that's productive-oriented, just a time of rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, and being with the Lord. Those things are Sabbath to me. In other words, I believe Sabbath is very simple. I believe Sabbath is setting aside time that is non-work related, non-productive, and just all about rest. Resting your mind, resting your spirit, resting your heart, resting your emotions, resting your hands, resting your feet. Just rejuvenating in the presence of God. I want to encourage you as a part of this rest principle to practice Sabbath. Find one day a week. Maybe even you start by having one day a month. Say, all right, on this day, on my calendar, this is a day where I have no appointments, no extra work, no extra things I'm doing. I'm just going to rest that day. It might be a nap. It might be laying in the hammock. It might be going away to a mountain retreat. Whatever it is for you, I believe Sabbath can make a big difference in your life. Practice rest. Practice Sabbath. Be the person God's called you to be, but don't perform. Just rest in Him. Walk it out one day at a time. My name is Brian Holmes. Thanks for joining us in this series. I look forward to visiting with you again very soon.